Well, good evening and welcome. Welcome to Lowswater, just below the Kirk Styling car park. Little favourite haunt of a car park here, there's nobody about. And that is Melbrick in front of us. So tonight I'm actually going to do a wild camp all alone tonight with the dogs going to Fluton Tyne. Fluton Tyne. It's not one of the most popular ones. I haven't found a wild camping video so far on it. So I might as well give it a go. I've only been there once and it was quite windy as I remember. So we shall see how we get on. So it's about quarter to seven. So I've got about two and a half mile, three mile hike. We'll see how we get on. There is a breeze, so it might be a windy night. Certainly a picturesque walk this. As you go to the flanks of Melbrick, you've got loads what the fell and then Coombe as well in front of us. There's the pan round. You can just see Crummock over there. And the mighty bulk. Grassmower. First whirly breeze, the forecast said it was going to be very light winds, but uh, clearly isn't. So I might have trouble finding some shelter around this town this evening. I brought the banshee tonight, so it's having its first run out of the year. And strangely enough, this camp, it is uh, it's the 24th today of July, so the last two years I've done a camp on the 24th of July, so it seems fitting to do a, a hat-trick of camps on these dates. Useless piece of information. <laughs> Quite windy, as it's opened up now the path. we got Melbrake. Here. Nice steep climb up there. I'm done that for a bit actually. Thank you. As we look back there. Just a change off the path now. There's Melbrake. Top there. So we've come a right turn, forked off underfoot here. It is uh, fairly boggy. So we're now from Melbrake side to the Hencombe side. So as we look back there to where we've been, very nice. And the sun briefly came out over there, and I mean briefly, but as you can see, the clouds are going over fairly quickly tonight. Just hoping this wind eases. Well, look at the state of this man to me outside. Filthy in the bog. She tried to leap, but. Uh, she got caked up. <laughs> I just uh, got hold of Monty and just kind of pulled him over the stepping stones. That's a nice large bridge here. Really is very, very boggy underfoot. Last night's deluge and thunderstorms put paid to that. So, let's we'll see what it's like further along. Nice steel bridge is Penny going to come across. Ah, she's not bothered about this thing. Nice here, like. It's quite sheltered. So I'll tell you something, it's uh, rather boggy and there's not many use this path for quite a while. Look how overgrown it is. Ridiculous. Can't be too far away now. So I remember first time I walked into Buttermere, right down there, that way. So there was a path over there, so this. Never walked on these roofs before. Just have to be careful in this bracken light. It is rife. Well, that's a nice vista. Finally here, there's Hencombe. So we pan round now. And here is Fluton Town. not a figment of my imagination, a green tent. Is it? Yeah, it is. Well, would you believe it? Still quite breezy, I'm going to have to find a sheltered spot here. Like, that could be too easy. Yeah, it's a tent. Just don't because I could be fast asleep. Do YouTube. Who knows? find somewhere to pitch. 
nice little town. Flanked by Great Bourne. Sounds it's going to disappear quite soon. Well, struggling to find the spot really. It's very nice looking over this town here, Fluton Town. Got a camper sitting out of his tent. I presume it's a he. Mind it is slightly sheltered here. I could do here. It's not wet, but probably a bit uh, nippy underfoot. Slightly boggy, but it's not too bad. So, hmm, tough decision. Best to the up like because it's pushing on, pushing for time. It's gone half past eight. So, maybe just in this bit it'll have to do. Got a nice view, anyhow. And a nice view of the fells as well, so could be here. This is probably set up for that. Well, it's set up now, it's not perfect, but it will have to do. Want to sit and anticipating something. I don't know whether I have anything to eat, but I may have a coffee. The wind's intermittent on and off at the minute. Probably hear it on this mic. It's one thing about this new camera, I'm not quite sure about how it's going to react on the mic. I know up at uh, Borscale Town last week, there was a gust of wind and it made like a whistle noise, so... The, the mic is actually right on the top of the uh, the frame of this. That's nice up there, isn't it? Beautiful. Hi, so the walk was uh, about 3.2 miles in total, just from bottom of Kirk Stad and Car Park. Very gentle. But luckily my feet are still dry. So that's what it looks like from just going up this bank. There's probably a few little fish in it like. I would say it's got to get dark quite quick around here tonight. Sun's gone down, you don't get much of the sun this side. If I was on the other side, over there, it'd be completely different. But, uh, totally different. Monty's after them sausages I brought. So I'm going to have one on a sarnie. I have squashed my sandwiches, so might as well have one. Alright, pal. You want a sausage? Hungry? I suppose i better give you one there. Eh? <laughs> so Penny's come out for a wonder. Had some sausages for a supper. And I've just had some sandwiches and just having a cup of now. And that should do me for tonight. What do you think? Monty's uh, somewhere in here. <coughs> there he is. Don't think you can see him very well. Oh, not very well at all. <laughs> and there's the doggies. Taking off my sleeping bag as usual. <laughs> Ten o'clock now. Definitely quieting down. Hopefully no thunderstorms. Well, I'm back here using the uh, camcorder. It does look better in darker conditions. Film. I don't know if I can, I've got the zoom back on here, and there's the light on the other tent. Yeah. It's ended up being a, quite a nice ending to the night, to be honest. Can't complain. But, uh, out and about. So I've got my radio on, just chilling out. Wind's eased right down. Thankfully, hopefully it will during the night. I bet it's a cracking view top of there. I mean, just on just on the edge of there, looking down. A couple of years since me and John's done Great Barn. Remember, we walked down this way back, back all the way back into Buttermere. It was a hell of a trek. We did Red Pike over the top, Starling Dodd, and back down. Good old trek that day. Right, we'll leave it at that for the night. See what it's like in the morning, hopefully it'll be cracking. Well, it's morning. 
had a decent tip during the night. Wasn't too bad at all. Um, I don't even know what time it is. Seven o'clock. That's what time it is. Uh, the question is, is, it's meant to be the hottest day, but let's see if it materialises here. But it's a nice warm breeze anyhow to start the day. I wasn't cold at all during the night. Hardly did the sleeping bag. Nice and toasty in this tent. Get a bit of breakfast and packed up then. That's another one in. Dogs are having a good sniff about this morning. What can you smell? Eh? What can you smell? Maybe Lado went to the tent cooking sausages or something. Right, let's get some of the some coffee doing us and a biscuit. Well, just come down to the town here. Just for a last look. Just about to pack up and head off. Oh, very, very nice indeed. Clunkle spot. I would say there'll be a few out walking today. Nice little breeze. The wind's changed direction slightly. It's actually coming into the town rather than behind me, which was last night. But yeah, I don't know if you can see in the distance here the campus. Probably packing up too. And heading off. But yeah, not a bad night at all. Not a bad night. Hopefully, I'll get another one in soon. So I'll be probably without John. Special mention to John, I hope your knee gets better soon. If it's most at summer matter, but it's not you can do with a sore knee, pal. Bad knee. I uh, just gotta make the best of it, pal. So hope get well soon and hopefully we'll be back out having a crack and a laugh shortly. Last look at Flute and Tan. Been a good one. All packed up there. A mile bit of flappy. Too bad. Come on then, Penny, let's crack on. To talk to dogs like humans. Well, it's not a bad view from the top of here. I'm at the sty, I'm actually standing on the sty. I said, I walked along here last night, so Flint Town is there, so you've got to walk across to it. It is quite boggy to say the least, so if you fancy doing this then in future, maybe we'll put some gaiters on because uh, it'll be probably wetter than this. It's boggy now, but yeah. Just some wild advice. In distance, I can see Newland Pass actually. It's that clear and, and glistening about. It's about time I got up there on a the bike. Red Pike's up there. Starling Dodd. That's a great bone herd over this side to my right here. So, right, let's make our way down. As the minutes tick by, the day is improving rapidly. It's really getting out fairly warm early doors like. That is lovely in front of us now. So we're heading back towards Kirkstow. Knows what a way. Pan back round. There's Red Pike there, stick it up. And I've just come from round that corner. There's a lot of bracken to get through there. Oh. There's one more crappy bit here before I can get back on the main join. But uh, it shouldn't take us long to get back to car now. I want to get back because I haven't got any sun cream and uh, now it's for ginger folk. Well, I think it's a good time to close it down. just near, near enough back down to the car now. Look at this, this morning, absolutely corking. Corking day. What more can you ask for? Those of them are about to have a walk today. I hope they're going to enjoy themselves in this sunshine. Obviously put plenty of factor 50 on. Or whatever factor you choose but yeah anyway that's been a good wild camp hope i can do another one soon unfortunately we've got a stretch of shifts now which is not going to help so it'll be probably the start of august if i get out and rain permitting of course so we shall leave it at that so i'll see you up next one so that's goodbye from me